Good grief. I can't believe this is happening. We put in so much effort just to stabilize that mana stream. Why has all this happened? Hmm? What's the matter, milady? I just feel so disgusted at myself. What brought this on all of a sudden? I've heard stories about them. About people who suffer because there isn't enough mana. My father told me those stories like they were worlds away from us. When I heard about them, none of it felt real to me and I didn't know what to think of it. But after hearing the shop owner tell us all this, all I thought was, good thing I wasn't born in a place like this. That's actually a pretty reasonable thing to think. Or I should say a common thing to think. How do I put it? I wasn't even thinking about how to solve the problem or how to lend a hand to them. The very first thing I thought of was myself. The fact that I'm thinking of myself is... That all I'm thinking of is myself. I... I know absolutely nothing about this world. And I'm the princess of an entire country? It's ridiculous. As humans, we're insensitive to suffering and misfortune that we ourselves have not experienced. And besides, in our current state, we don't have the luxury of extending a, of extending a helping hand to anyone, even if they were right here beside us. I don't think you should burden yourself with a thought too much. I know, but I just can't shake the, this feeling of self-loathing. Self Say, Ratona? Yes? The world isn't so small, after all. Indeed. I, fe I too felt the same way. Um, excuse me. What? Ugh. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. I messed up. What a scare. What in the... I can't sense her presence at all. Um, sorry if this is sudden, but would you two happen to be from an outside country? Well, um, we, uh... uh, 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 uh oh no, they're looking at me really suspiciously right now. Uh, th that's right! Where are my manners? My name is... Uh... Hmm? Hmm? It is... Rune! Rune! Um, sorry for surprising you like that. As an apology, please let me show you around town. R Rune? Uh, no. No, uh, I, I, sorry, I stuttered. It's just Rune. Oh, I know, I'm just teasing. You asshole. Teasing someone with such an old-fashioned joke? <laughs> T trust me, I'm not anyone suspicious. Really? You couldn't find anyone plainer and normaler. I'm like one of those extras in crowds, and, uh... What is up with this girl with blue hair that says she is completely... normal? Thanks, but no thanks. You clearly have some hidden agenda. What are you really after? I, I'm not after a single thing. I'm not going after you or anything at all. Really? Just what the heck am I saying? Ah! Oh. Hmm? Uh, well, okay. Me not having a single ulterior, to mo ulterior motive might be just a little bit of a lie. Uh, 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 I, I suppose I'm just making myself look even more suspicious. Huh? But that and you've basically confessed to having an ulterior motive. Ah! I do, but it's nothing bad at all. J just that I was going to guide you around town and slowly get you to open up to me. Then I'd gently try to get some stories about the outside or something. Really, totally harmless plot. Uh... Is that it? <laughs> uh, they're staring daggers all over me. Uh... <laughs> I like this character. <laughs> er, uh, just so you know, I'm not normally this awkward. Really? 
So, uh, um, if you could please stop staring at me with intense pity, we could end this with my, my self-esteem taking a huge hit, and I'd really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, could you just give us one moment? Sh sure. Maybe we should take her up on her offer, Ratona. She doesn't look like a bad person. She's adorable. She certainly doesn't seem like she has any malicious intentions, but that's not the only thing I can't sense. I can't even sense any life from her. Robots? Was I right about the robots? Hmm? What do you propose, my lady? Fidget, fidget. If she's just showing us around town, why not? There's some other stuff we need to get, too. Understood. Let's see how it goes. If she starts getting too suspicious, we should depart from her as soon as possible. What if she asks for our names? Let's not use any pseudonyms to make sure that we don't end up being unable to respond when called. As long as we don't reveal our family names, it should be all right. Got it. Uh, ha has a decision been reached? Yeah, uh, Rune, was it? Yes, uh, but, 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 uh, could you please not say it out loud? It's a little embarrassing, maybe, I guess. <laughs> hmm? Would you like to call, would you like us to call you differently, then? Oh, um, I, uh, let's just go with R Rune. All right, nice to meet you, Rune. Please. <laughs> Enough of that joke. It's a great joke. What are you talking about? Okay, let's get the tour started. Sh sure thing. Just ask me anything, anything you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, what a lovely smile. I wonder how old she is. Don't stare at my lady. Stop staring at my lady. Oh, I guess we're leaving. Oh, your name's Selphine. What a wonderful name. Why, thank you. I really like the name myself, so feel free to call me that. People from other countries have such marvelous names. Ah, so, uh, uh, could I have your name? It's Ratona. Sorry for staring you down so much earlier. I do apologize. You are actually really intimidating, you know? <laughs> no, not at all. There's no need to apologize to someone like me. W wow. Now that I have a better look at her, she's really beautiful, too. Hmm? What is it? N nothing. Just admiring how beautiful you two are. Gay! Ah! Wait, what in the heck am I even mouthing off about now? <laughs> Thank you, but you know, Rune, you're far prettier than I am, really. Eh? No way. You may say that, but you're way more beautiful than I could be, Selphine. Really? That's not true at all, is it? Now, is it, Ratona? Uh, um... I'd prefer that you not put me on the spot and make me cho choose between only yes and no. <laughs> By the way, sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we're in need of a few things. Ah, yes. You weren't able to find what you wanted at the pawn shop earlier, right? The pawn shop? Rune, don't tell me you were there. She was right fucking there! Yes, I, uh, happened over here. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but there weren't any other customers, so I just ended up hearing it all. She really does have no sense of life in her. This isn't, an exa isn't exactly a good way to put it, but she's like a talking corpse. Now that's rude. So, um, what exactly are you looking for? Hmm? Ah, right. We need to make preparations for our long journey back home. A map, some water, rations, a number of other things. Wow, you sure sound like travelers already. All right, then. I know quite a lot of great shops, so I'll do my best and show you around. Uh, hey, wait.
We need some sediment and clothes first. Hey, Ratona, hurry up. We're going we're going to go without you. What the? How'd they? We sure got a, quite a lot, didn't we, Ratona? And we've kept well within our budget. We still have over 30 gallows left. You know, actually, the townspeople here do me a lot of favors and stuff. So, if there's anything else you need, feel free to let me know. You aren't pressed for time or anything, Rune. Oh, not at all. Today's my day off, so I'll be with you every step of the way. I'm the one who proposed the idea anyway. Please, don't hold back. What was that noise? What now, Ratona? We've just gotten just about everything we need, right? No, we're missing some things. Huh? Have you forgotten our original plan? I imagine you guys haven't found any sediment yet. Uh, oh. Sediment and clothes. Right. <laughs> you guys didn't even get clothes? What did you buy, anyway? Well, whatever. Rune. Yeah. Yes? Are there any other stores here that handle sediment? Sediment, you say? After ha after having heard from the pawn shop owner, I think I have a fairly clear idea about how this whole area is like. Hmm. Well, I do know a place that has them. But when it comes to something as precious as sediment, I don't think you can get any VIP discounts. It'll probably set you back quite a lot. Not an issue. Just showing us the way would be more than enough. She's right. You've already helped us out so much, we'd feel bad asking for even more from you. Eh, is that so? All right, then. Well, then, I guess I'll just have to help a little bit. Please follow me. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's nice music. Welcome! Oh, my. Oh, my. Tree of lovely ladies today. What a surprise. He hello. Good day to you, and may I, what may I do for you today? Uh, uh, is the manager here? The manager, you say? Sorry, but I need to know what your business here is. Uh, uh, well, you know. Rune approached the salesperson and whispered in his ear. And suddenly, Huh? Mr. Jevitz. I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. Jevitz. It's actually a cool name. The salesperson's face turned pale and dashed into the back of the store. Ah! Ha ha ha. Hmm? Huh? F forgive me for the delay. Even if that clerk didn't know any better, I apologize for his rudeness. Uh, oh no, he wasn't rude at all. Mr. Javits, my goodness, he should have contacted me us earlier. Then we could have prepared to welcome. Wait, aren't you? The manager inspects every detail on Rune's face. Oh, no, uh, I I'm here for a specific reason. A specific reason? Like, like a surprise inspection? The manager suddenly goes off on a tangent just by Rune mentioning a specific reason, but she quickly corrects him. No, I'm not here for that. Not at all. So, she's important? Just what is with this conversation? Huh? Ah, I see now. So it's for your companions. We didn't mean to cause a ru to raise a ruckus here. Fucking ruckus! I apologize if we've caused you any trouble. Uh, oh no, not at all. Any friend of Sir Jevitz is as good as a business partner of ours. Business partner? Oh, Ritona, you wanted some Class 4, right? Ah, uh, yes. You're looking for some sediment, then? The Class 4 sediment is somewhere in the storage. Please give me a moment. They have been fairly priced based on the current market value as well. Hey, you! Get the sediment! Have the guards open storage, A. Eh? Uh, understood. Well, ladies, instead of standing around here, why don't we head on inside to the VIP lounge? Eh? VIP lounge? Please feel free to. 
Just pretend you're doing just pretend you're doing me a favor and let me serve you to the fullest. Uh-huh. Uh what kind of store is this that you have a lounge? This sure turned out to be a pretty big deal, huh, Ratona? Y yeah. I mean, you guys have already established this sh that sediment is big shit, so... I apologize for the long delay. Here are the cuts of Class 4 that you requested. I've also brought cuts of Classes 3 to 1 as well. Please, take your time. Th thank you. Huh? S such beautifully crafted cases. I'm sure the contents are even more valuable. Let's see about that. Mm. Th this is terrible. All of the sediment looks like nothing but plain old rock. Sediment can be divided into two general categories. Yay, exposition! I love exposition. One kind has slowly absorbed the mana present in the ground over a long period of time. Natural sediment. It's practically just rock that's absorbed a mixture of all five kinds of mana. Pyro, Aqua, Terra, Aero, and Void. Not going to give that one a fancy name. Also, we're just going to ignore that we randomly mixed Greek and Roman. Or Greek and Latin, rather. Romans, not a language. Greek and Latin. Because no one knows the difference. And also Void. The other kind is natural sediment, which has undergone a tre treatment process, allowing it to be filled with mana to be used for various kinds of craft. This is referred to as crafter's sediment. When referring to sediment, it's usually the latter. Once filled with mana, crafter's sediment is ranked according to how much of the mana stored inside remains unchanged. For a low-quality cut, such as class 4 or 5, Regardless of how pure the mana used is in filling the stone, it will end up changing into another kind of mana. This is referred to as impurification. For example, even after filling a stone with 100% aqua mana, it might turn into an 80-20 mix of aqua and terra. Being exposed for a long time to the same type of mana will end up leaving it slightly aligned towards that type of mana. This kind of natural mana will end up causing the sediment's class to decrease, regardless of how much processing is done, as it will make using craft that require proper ratios much harder to use. Hence, it's common practice that class 1 settlement sediment is filled only with 100% purified mana when sold. Purified mana, not having any attribute, is the easiest to impurify. I guess impurify could be a word. It probably actually is a word. To prove that a cut of sediment is of a high level of purity, filling it with purified mana is the fastest way to go about it. The sediment that the store managers referred to as class 1 had some slight impurities on it. This normally would never be classified as class 1. Probably closer to class 2. Hmm... Well, if putting all, all of that pretentious monologue aside, it's not the best way to put it, but seeing the strange juxtaposition of exquisitely made cases like these, stuffed with sediment of, with quality this poor, it's laughable. It's like stuffing a solid gold case with a pile of acorns that some child picked up off the ground. Ratona, don't do this. We've already established that shit's hard to get here. Don't make an ass of yourself. The only one worth anything seems to be the this class 3 cut. This appears to be the most true to the given class. You have a keen eye for quality, miss. I would expect nothing less from an acquaintance of Mr. Jevitz. Still, the commits on this cut are also strange. Just how did they process it for it to become like this? Sediment is processed in such a way that when filled with mana the mana can be retained without seeping out. This process is referred to as a commit. The way it's tied off, so to speak, shows you the kind of character of whoever did the processing. Wow, that's amazing, Ratona. You can tell just by looking? Uh, well, yes, to some extent. What's the price for this Class 3? 
Oh, yeah, so your uh, rates. Excuse me? That's a lot. This is on a totally different level. Huh? Really? I think the prices are pretty normal, though. Ah, I do believe these prices reflect the current market value. Now I see what the owner of that pawn shop meant. With prices like these, there's no way any normal shop could deal with this product. How much is it? Hmm? This class 2 here. What is with this strange commit? And the class 3? And this class 4? All of their commits are just... Is there something wrong, ma'am? No, well... It seems like the same person formed the commits, but the way they're done is just... How should I explain it? It's complicated, I suppose. It's needlessly complex. Normally, you wouldn't seal them up like this. You need to remove the commit in order to use them, so common practice is to tie them off as simply as possible. Although exceptions exist, which are intentionally made complicated and difficult to use. Oh my, oh my, such amazing insight. I'm truly in awe. Huh? Is something the matter? These are prototypes formed by the latest compressor on the market. Their selling point is that their mana compression rate is double that of the previous models, but the commit ended up being incredibly complex. The seal being so complicated to remove makes it more difficult to operate, but we have taken that into consideration and lowered the prices accordingly. However, these settlements will not be used for mana craft anyway, so most of our customers have mentioned that that aspect does not have to be recreated so faithfully. Unless you mean to say you don't plan on simply admiring these, but but you intend to use them. No, I... Huh? What's the matter? What exactly is a compressor? Well, well it's a device that extracts mana from the mana stream and compresses it into sediment. A device? Do you mean to say these commits were created by a machine? Well, yes. And what about it? S so these sediments were not filled by actual humans? God. Techno technolization is happening. Technolization. Fuck, what's the actual word? Uh, fuck. Automization! Automization has happened here. We've cut out a human market. Ah. R Ratona. Uh, oh my. Oh, Ratona, that, that was a good one. Oh. <laughs> what a provocative joke. Your delivery was just so realistic that I was completely taken aback. Real imported sediment for crafters' use is just far too great in value. And besides, in this day and age, you have all these rumors here and there. You're totally right on the money. <laughs> Quite the avant-garde joke for a friend of the good sir. Dear me. Good, good sir? I imagine that Shepard's... Oh no! What? Eep! Uh, what? Uh. So sorry, but we have to get going. <laughs> what seems to be the matter? I'm so sorry, but I remembered we have an urgent errand to run. Anyway, if you'll excuse us. Hey, wait. Thank God that was tearing up my throat. <coughs> Fuck that voice. Uh, what was that all of a sudden? What a scare. This is the second time today. Sorry, but the manager is pretty perceptive. <laughs> perceptive? Oh, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. Please, don't mind what I said at all. <laughs> In any case, Rune, there must have been a better way to change the topic of the conversation. But, well, yeah. But I'm just not really good when it comes to that kind of stuff. So you're the type who can't tell a lie. You're a real enigma, you know that? <laughs> Enigmatic. 
I sure hope you didn't mean enigmatic in a bad way. But really, that sediment was just far too expensive. And how could we possibly buy some now? Ah, uh, um, I apologize for that. I should have asked about your budget beforehand. Oh no, sorry, I didn't mean it that way. There's nothing you need to apologize for at all. If she's right, we're the ones imposing on you. But honestly, if it if that's expensive for you, then I don't think you'll be able to get any sediment anywhere in town. When he said he studied the market for the prices, he was pretty right on the money. Is that so? This is a problem. Turns out that shit that is really valuable is really valuable. I hope Selphine and I don't end up getting separated then. Anyway, putting that aside, Rune, do you mind if I ask you something? Hmm? Yes? Wherever we go, everyone seems to know who you are. Are you some kind of celebrity in town or something? Huh? Hmm, I've noticed that too. That salesperson and manager immediately treated us differently after seeing you and hearing who you are. Are you from a well-to-do household here? <laughs> oh no, not at all. Well, it's just that the work I do is a little special. Rather, it's not something I'd like to talk about. And it's a pretty unique way of making a living in this place. Special work that you'd rather not talk about with others. So I'm guessing you're a prostitute. <laughs> No, 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 not even close. Heck, how did you even come to that conclusion in the first place? Uh, well, uh, it was just the first thing that came to mind. Ahem. <laughs> hey, Ratona, are you okay? <laughs> I'm choking on my own saliva. Good grief, the way you managed to make the connection just because of the word unique makes you even more unique. Well, in any case... <laughs> The sun's about to set. <laughs> oh, that's right. You wanted to hear about how it's like outside, didn't you? What, uh, lady? <laughs> uh, oh, but we still haven't finished all your shopping. Once we get the last thing on the list, clothes, then we can go have some dinner. If you don't mind, then we can have it together, and I'll tell you all sorts of stories over that. Hey, you don't mind, do you, Ratona? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Uh, are you serious? Really, I wouldn't want to intrude or anything. Of course you aren't. It was a promise between us friends, right? Eh? Come on, Ratota, let's go. Uh, uh, okay. Friends? <laughs> Manakama!